So what I'd like to do, guys, um, if you take a look at it up here, now what we have is we have the distributive property twice. The main important thing, though, Austin, that you want to remember is whenever you have a number outside your parentheses, you need to make sure, I'm sorry, Andre, you need to make sure you multiply that number times everything inside of there. So for this one, I'm not going to rewrite it because there's a lot of multiplication going on. But I'm just going to say 4b times negative 5b. You multiply your numbers, which provides me a negative 20. And then b times b gives me b squared. Then I need to multiply the 4b times the negative 3. So I can multiply the numbers. There's nothing to multiply the b by, so that's fine. It's just going to be 4 times 4b times negative 3. It's just going to provide me a negative 12b minus. Well, actually, before I even do that, before we determine if it's minus or negative, what you want to do look at, Markel, is just notice, do I take a negative 2 times b squared? Well, negative 2 times b is just going to provide you a negative 2b squared. Then I do a negative 2 times negative 7b. Negative 2 times negative 7b. Negative 2 times negative 7 is a positive 14b. Hey, what's up? Uh, you. Yes, you need him? Yeah. OK, he's in the yellow shirt. Yeah. Um, then the next one is negative 2 times negative 4 is going to provide me with a positive 8. OK? Got it? All I did was I multiplied the negative 2 times each one of these three terms. You can notice by there. Just notice how I multiplied them. You just multiply your numbers. And if you had exponents here, you know you had to do b times b, which is b squared. But here, I just said I really had to multiply the numbers. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to see if we can simplify this by adding like terms. So what I'm going to do is I notice that here's a squared term, and here's a squared term. So I can combine them, right? I can simplify them. So negative 20b squared minus 2b squared is a negative 22b squared. Then I look at this term. I have a negative 12 and a 14b. Or I'm sorry, negative 12b and a 14b. I can combine them. So negative 12b plus 14b is going to give me 2b. Then I look at here, and 8 is my only numer numeral that I have. So I can just bring that down in the answer. So my final solution is a negative 22b squared plus 2b plus 8. That's it. That's all you've got.